All right, good morning. How's everybody doing today? Got a beautiful morning. Got a cool morning though. Y'all come on in. Good morning, good morning. I'm gonna let a few people get in here. Oh, hey, Miss Angela. I missed all of y'all. I had to help Grandma out yesterday on her sweet day. Hey, Miss Jane. Good morning. <laughs> Hey, Miss Connie. Good morning. I got a beautiful show here for you this morning. Hey, Miss Sarah. <laughs> oh, I know she liked that. Miss Jane, yes, he ah. did. The mints. They was a big hit. Hey, Miss Joyce. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, America Maid. Hey, Miss Connie. Hey, buddy. Little Bradley. Hey, Miss Sandra. Oh, thank you for the super chat. Miss Joyce, thank you so much. Hey, I want to show y'all. You ain't going to believe it. Check this out now. I mean, gone. I come up here this morning, and the moral of this story is it ain't always greener on the, the grass ain't always greener on the other side. There was a bird in this feeder. The bird went under this hole to get to that feed right there. And I was going, I was going to show him on camera, letting him out. <laughs> but he got out of there before I could get the camera going. But they, I bet that thing holds at least 15 pounds of seeds. And they cleaned the clock. And it didn't take very long. Yeah, they love that thing. Y'all want to give you a quick update on this, too. The flowers are blooming so pretty. Look at that. A couple days of the sun, and they opening up. Oh, yeah, Miss Janet. Them was a big hit. AC Ward. Hey, make sure y'all got it on live chat where you can see all the comments. Look, y'all, we got some birds nesting right here. At the end of the dock, there's a little nest up there in the top corner. And they are loving it. Good morning. We got a pretty we got a pretty show for y'all today. We got a lot of wind out here on the dock. A lot of wind. <laughs> we got a pretty show. We're gonna be building gonna be building a birdhouse that you ain't never seen. Ain't never seen. Look y'all. They flew away. They was all over that feeder. All over. Ten or twelve done got on it that quick. Really? Pizzle? Yeah. 
Yeah, man, they didn't clean that. They didn't clean that joker out. They don't I know where it's at. Good morning, Miss Shannon. Miss Connie, it was cool this morning, 40 degrees. Sure was. Well, I was gonna, I was gonna wait a second and get them coming back, but. <laughs> oh, them, them birds are sweet. People, here they come. Up, oh, no, just checking in. Hey, they flying around. <laughs> People say, good morning. People say them birds is aggravating. Hey, I don't mind feeding them. They look pretty cute to me. Don't mind if I do. We get this camera set up. Hello. Oh, Miss Dove Lynn. Sorry about your husband in the hospital. We'll, we'll say a prayer for him. Certainly will. I'm gonna turn this over. Turn this over to Mystery Man. And I got a project for y'all. Except we're gonna turn the comments towards you today. Okay. Well, I gotta swap it then. Mm -hmm. All right. There it is. How y'all doing? Yeah, you welcome, Miss Dublin. All right, Miss Joyce, you take care. Says she's got to run. I'm gonna get Bradley fed right quick. Come on, Turbo. I had a bandana on him and he done ran it off out here in the yard. I see it over there by the wall. Get it, baby. Get it. Get it. Come on. He had one. He had one earlier. Figured he'd be good for two, but I reckon not. Come on, Deja. Got a treat for you. I got this little bacon, bacon strips, bacon flavor with cheese in it. They love it. Hey, Casey. Hey, Miss Connie. Good boy. Miss Coca. That's a good girl. <laughs> How much longer do you need to feed him milk? Got to feed him for six months. Even though he's eating grass good, they're supposed to nurse for six months. That's right. All right, y'all, I'm gonna get started in this birdhouse. Gonna be using some, some small pieces of wood. I got something brand new to show you. I'm gonna get started. Okay, Stephen, let's, let's keep one thing straight. Hello, everybody. And this this going to be the majority rule. Do you want me to get up and down with the camera? Or you want me to just leave it on the spot that he's working on? I can tell you. I can tell you they're going to want to see, Hodge. I don't know, they were telling me not to move it the other day. When you, you know when you just cut. Yeah, I'm gonna be going to the saw. There's Miss Brenda said hello, Danny. 
Hello, Miss Brenda. I, my screen ain't moving. Up a little bit. Whatever you want to do, Danny. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't mind, but they was, they was a bunch of them telling me not to move the other day. Yeah. <laughs> to leave the camera sitting where it was at. Whatever you think is best, leave it on the spot. <laughs> Perfect. Do it your way, Danny. All right. All right. We'll do a little of both, both, okay? All right. We'll do a little bit of both. I'm, what is it? I'm kind of trapped in here. Got, Steven's got the umbrella out. And, uh, yeah, we got real bad winds. But we'll do a little of both. How about that? We'll do a little of both. Wind in the mic now. All right. Yeah, it's pretty bad today. Stephen, uh, might need to slide the table up some, son, because I pulled the camera back behind the umbrella. Hey, sweetheart, if I seen that, I seen that uh, comment a while ago that you made this morning. Matter of fact, I seen quite a few of y'all's comments. Hey, you know what I thought about telling y'all about that? <laughs> Do I work? Rich folks would say, if, if rich folks do what I do, they would call it work. But I don't call, I don't call it work. Uh, because I have somebody that works for me. And, uh, I kind of mess around with the stocks a little bit and stuff like that, but it it ain't really work. <laughs> Not what I call work, but like, like if you was rich, you'd say, yeah, I've been working since 9 o'clock this morning. <laughs> Miss Nash, you hadn't missed much. No, just, in, just introducing everybody. Just, just the meat, greet, and the feeding of little Bradley. Hey, Jane, I see that, and, and uh, I don't know where he's doing this with a phone. And, uh, you know, one of my phones. I don't know where you would put a sock at. No, I, I bought the sock for it. The only problem is I can't charge the phone and use the wind sock. I, I bought a sock for it. Can't cut it out. It goes in the port where the charging port does. Oh, it goes in there? Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I can get it and we can try it. But I bought it. Hey, Miss, Miss, Miss Chun's getting them straight, Steve. <laughs> about the opening monologue. Yeah. Hey, Stephen went and worked a little while real early this morning. He, uh, I heard him crank up his truck. And he got his important stuff done. And so he come down there, come down there to camp and we talked a little while. He decided... He's going to go for it. <laughs> Jenny, Jenny Jane, he said the sock goes in like where the charger goes in. So it's something you... <laughs> so it, it's something you plug in. Ain't that right, Stephen? Something you plug into? Yes. 
Yeah, I bought the I bought it for it. No ma'am, you hadn't missed you hadn't missed much today. But you can always go back and watch the first little few minutes, but you ain't you ain't missed nothing. Boy, did y'all y'all see grandma's video yesterday? Now, we had a good time now. We had a good time down there. I'm gonna turn up all this. Okay, you ready? To... Well, no. I'm gonna be cutting a few minutes. All right. I just wanted to get them where they could see the saw. Hey, it started buffing. On, my, on me it did. Yeah. What's he gonna do today, go? I was kind of a little afraid of that tiller yesterday because uh, I do know that Grandma has had a bad shoulder. I said, Stephen, hold on that thing. Don't let it get away from me. <laughs> be using that tiller, I can tell you. Thank you, Miss Sandra. I think Steve was the one that kind of organized everything. She's been, she's been growing them tomatoes for as long as I can remember. And Stephen, you might, might want to tell everybody hello again. Dust in my eyes. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Yeah, there's a good bit more people on. Good morning. I'm going to be building a brand new design. Brand new. You ain't never seen it. One of a kind. I've <laughs> got so much sawdust everywhere. The wind's blowing it right, right to me. Miss Marie sent him another email. Uh, what's your email, Steve? shodges384 at gmail.com. shodges384 at gmail.com. It sent him a message about the bracelet. It, it might be on the way or it might have slipped his mind. I don't know, but, uh, he, but he'll get you one. He, she wants a bracelet, Steve. Uh, let's see who that was there, brother.
I put Bibles in the birdhouse. Hey, I mean, why do they put Bibles in the birdhouses? Okay. So you can kind of be looking out for it. She wants, wants a bracelet, okay? He has uh, uh, no cross. Okay. I mean, I, thank you, Danny. No cross keychain. thing about these one-of-a-kinds, you figure it out as you go. <laughs> think you got that, though. You ain't got it like the other one. Ain't you got the other sideways? Oh, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, I, okay, I got you. They put a window, they put a window in the birdhouse so you can see the Bible. I, I do got that right there. Right Stephen, you make the wooden keychains? No. Yeah, that was powerful. I was kind of looking at what Steve was doing here. Yeah, this Miss Ronald, that was that was powerful. You know, y'all, you make a video, you always leave something out, and I left a little little stuff out. I'm trying to figure out what exactly what he's doing myself. He he thought this up in about uh, thirty minutes. Hey, Miss Sandra, get on to him now. 
Ain't Miss Sandra the one that sent us tonight, Stephen? Oh, uh, I'd have to see her last name. Oh, uh, let's see. I gotta find it here. Present off. Yep, that's it. Yeah, I thought so. I'm not the mystery man anymore, I'm the wise man. Hey, y'all, I, I think things out. I have slipped up on a live and maybe said something I shouldn't have said. It's, you know what I mean? I reckon, uh, as, as I, I guess everybody might be doing that before, say something they wish they could take back. I look at them, y'all. I look at them. Whenever they like need something, uh, like when it comes pressing hard, they'll come to me, even my daughter. She's a school teacher. They'll come and ask me what I think. And Stephen, uh, how much is you? Is the birdhouse prices still the same? Yeah. Stephen's got. <laughs> Stephen's got some bird houses for $13, and he got some for the churches is $16. And y'all... <laughs> y'all, when my daughter was at home, she would go put on clothes and come out there and she wanted to know my opinion because she knew I would tell her the truth, you know. And sometimes she'd walk out there and she could tell by the way I was hesitating. She'd say, okay. <laughs> and then she'd go back and put something else on. But she knew I would tell her straight, you know, and that's that's what you want to, that's what you really want to hear when you really want a real opinion, you know. When before Tammy goes to church, I say, "Well, well, can't him let me look at you?" You know, I always she's I, she's got clothes I don't even know about. I said, "Well, can't him let me look at you?" I don't know if she realizes what I'm doing, but I'm making sure I'm making sure she looks good, you know. Sometimes I say, go change that shirt now.
Yeah, my grand, uh, grandma told me, she said, I don't always exactly have to tell it just like it is. She's told me that before. But I just kind of like that, you know. Can you see that, Steve? Or is it on you? Yes, sir, it is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I asked, uh, I asked uh, Bentley the other day, I asked him who picked his clothes out. <laughs> I mean, they was both fine, they just didn't exactly match. And y'all, you know, there's a bunch of people say Christina looks like her mama, there's a bunch of people say she looks like me. And she probably does look like me the most, you know, like when I was young. But I don't exactly compare to no beauty queen no more. Stephen, I thought you was going to make the middle wider. I know what I've done. I used my... I used the wrong walls. <laughs> That's exactly what I've done. Hey, if you cut that in high, you have two hides there. Yeah. Yeah, it ain't nothing fixed. I know I was looking at it. What coming out the way I thank you, Miss Andrew. She she called me up oh uh, you know a year or two ago and she's really this outstanding teacher, you know, real real she don't she don't know what she is, y'all. I mean just to be honest with you, she don't know what she is. And I sit there and listen to her. She was about to cry. She wanted a job at a certain school, and and she was going to have to sign. It was kind of forcing her to sign a contract, and she would have been locked in, you know what I mean? If you sign that contract, you, you know, you got to follow through. I, I said, don't you sign that contract. I said, don't you know you're going to get that other job? And I had to explain to her, and she said, she listened. I had to explain to her, don't you, don't you understand what you are? And that every principal wished they had teachers just exactly like you. And, and she is like that. And... I talked to her about 30 minutes and she got off the phone just as happy as she could be in a, uh, she didn't sign that contract with the school and she got the other job, you know, the, with the other school that she wanted to be. I think her, I think her boys was going to be at the other school, but she wanted to go with them. Right. Every once in a while I have to like Make them understand, you know, like uh, like Stephen. He don't know Stephen. Don't know what he is. Yeah, you won't you won't see many like him. You know, he's. I mean, I remember him. I bet you three or four years ago on Facebook giving away money. Just get. I mean, I I don't even remember what he was doing, but I know he was giving money away. Yeah, that was for my business channel. People that I work for, I entered them in a raffle and I gave some gift cards away for Is that what it was? For Longhorn. Yep. Hey, you know what? 
sometimes I say, well, I mean, they don't really hate to, they hate to hear what I say, but they, you know, they hear the truth, you know. But they don't, they don't have to worry about, you know, good or bad. I, I tell them straight. You know, you want to be told straight, you know. I, you know what? I don't know. I mean, I, I doubt she stopped. I mean... She might be slowed down, but I doubt she stopped making cement craft. She likes that stuff, you know. Thank you, Miss Dilma. Oh, that ain't Chester. You know, there's actually two donkeys. You know, there's one across the pond. But you can hear them usually. Usually they talk back and forth. laughing about Miss uh, Sandra's comment there. Y'all see Bentley reading them comments yesterday? Boy. I, hey. <laughs> Boy, he was going to town now. I mean, didn't miss a beat. I've tried to read them out here, and they come and go so fast till you can't get them read. He had no, <laughs> he had no problem. Hey, Miss Bear Paws. Yeah, been this small. I was scared he was kind of, might have been overdoing it, but <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, y'all was ag you know, y'all was agging him on, but as long <laughs> as long as it's all right with y'all, it's, it's all right with us. I mean, he was he was going to town like a machine gun. Yeah, he's a mess now. I got to get the center on this. start on my other. These are my sides. That necklace pulls my hair every time. These are going to be I 
I got something I'll show enough to tell y'all. Show enough to tell you. Ain't, I'm going to wait for Stephen cut this and I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what you ain't never seen. You ain't never seen somebody with a YouTube channel promoting somebody else's channel like the way Grandma was doing Sunday. You know she helped Stephen, and then she's helping Dana and Cody. You ain't never seen somebody out in front of a peanut stand saying, hey, there's a peanut stand right over there. <laughs> That's got good peanuts too, you know. You know, uh, you know, I've been here for Steven some. You don't never hear me. Well, you might have heard me mention my channel, but not because of I'm promoting it. Just, for, just telling you like who I am. I don't, <clears throat> I don't want people to leave from Steven's channel. Even to go look at mine, even if they don't even look much, I won't. That's how YouTube is, y'all. It's kind of every man for himself, except for with grandma. And that's her wishes to promote Cody and Dana. That's her wishes. And uh, Dana and Cody, if y'all are watching this, y'all keep y'all some videos on your channel. You got you got to have some content. You got some subscribers, but you got to go on and get some videos on there. Hey, Miss Chung, that ain't exactly true there. I had my YouTube channel before Grandma, and uh, I got a bunch of subscribers, and I'm the one that got Grandma started. 
She didn't know how to do that stuff. I showed Grandma everything. How to eat it. How to eat it. And everything, everything. I showed her everything. And I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to take credit, but what I am trying to do is, is I made my own way, is what I'm saying. What I'm doing now is going to work on the other roof. All right. Yeah, I seen that comment there. Your grandma was out there, uh, she was out there burning and, and cutting limbs and all kind of stuff. And, but she, she wasn't joking. But I knew she was a natural, you know. <laughs> yeah, Miss Rona, but she, she needs to get it going now. I'm gonna, I'm about to tell you something that's about make you mad. See, Grandma was told she didn't have sense enough to pour water out of a boot a long time ago. Y'all can ask her about it. Now, I didn't, I didn't make Grandma. All I done is showed her how to do the stuff she made herself. That's important. That's important. Oh, it's starting to come together now there, Brother Hodges. Is it now? It's starting to come together there now, looking good now. I don't... I don't think that telling a woman how dumb she is and all that works this day and time too good. <laughs> I guess where y'all can see what's going on. Yeah, you got that pretty good there, Stephen. Hey, Stephen, uh... Bradley's untying my shoe. I want to show you something here. There's a pretty good split right here. I mean, I know it don't make a lot of difference, but I ain't got that, that bottom board's warped. It's sitting, you know, that's why it's the crack there. I hadn't pushed it up yet. Hey, Miss Ellen. Miss Ellen, I went and looked at you on Facebook, boy. You like pretty hot now. I went and looked at... <laughs> hey, y'all surprised me now, you know. Hey, I think, man, I think about 20 years or something like that. I mean, that's that's the worst thing gone wrong you ever seen in your life.
get this roof attached. You know what? There's a lot of pretty women on here. Oh, Stephen's been using pressure treated the whole time. You know them bird houses he's mailing out stuff? Man, they don't even come close to comparing what you buy in a store. I'm talking about, you like to start laughing. This ain't no Chinese bird house. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't want to get in in that, y'all, but that one, you know, that one woman, it was, they had a good thing going, you know. But I ain't, I ain't going to get into that, but I'm just going to tell you, they had a good thing going. They, they never fussed. They had a good thing going. Hey, y'all. One woman, one house. That's the way it is. Ain't that right, Brother Hodges? Yeah, I need to trim. Hey, Stephen has he's having to figure out on the fly, you know. But it's like the tiller yesterday. I got my money on him. <laughs> well, look, I know I want these offset. I don't want them. Hey, bro, you just fix it ever how you want to fix it. I really think if you was, it don't hardly matter what you was doing, you would have an audience. Uh, yeah, just y'all just don't underestimate grandma. I, I done I didn't realize she has done got tender. Hey Stephen, that, that board on the bottom there is pretty warped. Now I can see it good, you know. I know you can't see it from there, but I can see it's it. It's the front one, ain't it? It's this board right here. The back one. Yeah. It's the front. Oh, it. Let me just cut it. Hey, I, I, I tell you what now. I think Grandma's tough for them what them what some of y'all think. That was my mama, y'all, and I know her. I know her good. You know, that's what Tammy tells me, but, but like, I don't see it, you know. <laughs> I was looking pretty good yesterday, but, but like, I don't see it. I don't, I don't see me looking good. Yeah, these laying better. <laughs> I 
Bradley over here. Trying to eat, try, yeah, trying to eat something. Y'all, I'm gonna try to help Grandma out, you know, like, see him far. I'm gonna try to help her out. Yeah, I understand, oh, sweet earth, but it, it needs to be put together, you know, straight. And then being, and then being. Connie, you might have something on the floor, man. I bet Steven didn't know that. What? That was Grandma's 400 video. I didn't know it until Miss Connie sent me that. Oh, she sent you that? She did. I see it right here on the... Hey, I, I, Grandma can drive good, y'all. I, I really, I'm telling y'all now, she can drive good. Oh, uh, she's... She's, I think she's more cautious than y'all realize. Yeah, y'all, I... <laughs> you know, in the earlier videos, I was cutting up and playing and stuff. <laughs> but I'm really kind of more like what you see right now. I was just trying to be funny sometimes. Some, some of the stuff I said was true, and some of the stuff, you know, what, what I was talking about, my tame skin folks beating up the four men and one woman. It was actually six men and one woman. I just wanted to tell something that was believable, you know. And when, we, when I took the young to the Macon Coliseum and Tammy was holding me back from going to go down there and whoop everybody, uh, that that was true also. I was there. I remember saying, they just think they want him to come down there. One, them, one of them wrestlers was talking about, let him go. Let him go, and I, and I was thinking, yeah, you just think that. Hey, I tell y'all something that's true. You know, me and Timmy in our younger years, I I drank pretty bad, you know, pretty bad. And we used to have these parties, I reckon. Uh, I don't think people have parties like that no more, but like you did, you, you wouldn't hardly go home, you know what I mean? You just... Hang around somebody's house, you know. And I was sitting over there in the recliner, you know, getting my second wind, sleeping. And there's this boy that didn't know, he didn't know me. I think it would have been different if he'd have known me. But he didn't know me. And he was, I was asleep there and Tammy was, I was in a recliner and Tammy was like sitting right between my knees on the floor, you know. You know, waiting for me to get my second win. Hodges, I know you're talking, but it's shaping up. Look at that. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. This right here is going to be... I'm going to make this into a cabin, y'all. Like a... Uh, like I don't want to tell you no more than what I'm already saying, but this is going to be a home. This is the back side. The front side. Oh man, look at this now. They inset in here. Brad, Bradley's biting my shoestring, pulling up, untying them. I can't make that up. All right, get back to your story. All right, thanks, dude. Now, 
get in mine. Tammy sitting in between my knees on the floor, and this boy, I mean, I, I've heard about him. He's supposed to be kind of tough. He was trying to pick her up, you know. He was trying to pick which everybody always did all the time, try to pick, uh, you know, try to mess with him. And she, she told him, and I know what she was doing to this day, you know. He, 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 he kept on aggravating her until Did she you? told him. She said, look at here. You don't want me to wake him up. And uh, he said, wake him up. She said, nah. You don't want me to wake him up. And y'all, and and she wouldn't have woke me up for nothing because she know what I'd have done. Now, she know better than anybody what I'd have done. I would have turned that house into a car wash. I, I mean, like, I, you know, I, let me let me make you understand now. I don't care if somebody, like, says you're a pretty woman or you want a cup of coffee or whatever. But, like, somebody that just keeps on, I said, you, you let me know when you want me to step in. And that's kind of all of it. Steven, you gonna burn this and stuff? I mean, somebody want to know him. Well, no, because I'm on. I'm gonna do lap siding on it. Hey, Miss Bear Paws, this ain't mine and Stevens' video now. This is right here, Stevens. Uh, this is Stevens' channel. I, I don't have nothing to do with it, y'all. I'm just on here talking for now. But this right here is Stevens' channel. Oh. I can't write it this moment. I can't. I can't make. Uh, uh. Rough, ain't it? Yeah, it is. But it's better just to hold that trigger down and let it roll. Hey, y'all, and I've I've turned more places into a car wash than one. <laughs> But Miss Bear Paws is right. Y'all hit the thumbs up. It don't, it don't cost you a single thing to hit the thumbs up. Ask me what I'm doing. Well, uh, he was cutting, son. I, I, I did want to know what you're doing with that jigsaw up there. <laughs> I'm gonna make a beautiful window right here. 
Uh, and I got two comments. I got to catch up on after you get through there. I'd be forgotten. <laughs> Even when you when you uh programming your phone for a video yeah see if you see closed caption in there yeah that might be something that they have to that youtube has to add later i'm not sure about that and uh let's see what was the other thing oh yeah i ain't never seen the all my brothers i was uh i kind of more like a rock you know a uh, kind of a heavy metal person you know like uh not really like uh mega Def and all that but like uh aerosmith and stuff along that line hey jenny jane i i ain't never been no nightclub person but i have been a time or two i left my phone in there one night and I told them that they, did, they, they didn't want me in there because I asked one of the girls, I said, does your mama know what you do? And anyway, uh, I was there with somebody, but I didn't like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like that too much. But anyway, you know, I'm somebody with real common sense, and I can see all through that bull. It, every girl in there has got a birthday every night of the week. You know, they toting around a bag. They, they got the men buying drinks. I mean, I know because the girl that worked there told me. She come over and sat down and talked to I I try to get along telling you in a second. But she told me, this is what she told me. She said, uh, she said, men come in here, and I bet y'all women know that. She said, men come in here all the time. And, and they think they telling you something you ain't never heard before. She said, they all saying the same thing. She said, but every once in a while, there's a man will come in just like you. And I was up there with somebody, and but it's like the girls is drinking drinks, and 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 that and the girl didn't even, the girls don't even want the drinks. Uh, they just got them. The, uh, making the the bar money, you know. They know every little trick in the book, and see, I didn't, I wasn't spending no money, and wasn't going to spend no money. But I walked out there, I walked outside, and then they wouldn't let me come back in. I left my phone in there. I said, I'm fitting to turn this place into a car wash. If you don't let me back in there to get my phone. Dang. They decided to let me go back in and get my... I ain't even want to be in there to start with. I was out there in the parking lot talking to Timmy on the telephone. <laughs> I like to aggravate her to death. I bet I caught her... I bet you I caught her six or eight times. You know, I was going to trim this one down in this wood here. I don't think I like that wood. Uh, I think I want to use a little bigger wood. Now, you might, wait a minute now. We might have to get these women's opinion now. Now, I can't, I can't uh, see what I'm looking at there now. 
So, well, uh, you're going to have to kind of show it. Hey, you got it holding right. I was going to dress my hole up with this trim, but it's, the trim's kind of little and looks puny. What if you double it up? Well, I mean, I got bigger trim right here. Okay. Yeah, that'd probably be better. I just, I ain't liking how the other's turning out. Okay. I think I'm on. Steven, you do what you feel, son. Yeah. Well, I feel like that ain't cutting it. I think that's better. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I'm going to set this thing back down. I, I appreciate it. Uh, I do appreciate that, uh, Stephen. Y'all, I don't think I'm handsome, but uh, I know Stephen is, you know. I seen the kind of girls he dated there when he was kind of down and out. He'd bring them up. He'd, he'd come over to the house and sit around a little while. He always been like that. And then he'd, he'd take off his own. What, what you talking about, Debbie? While I'm waiting for David here, I, that, uh, Stephen, I, Tammy sure did, she sure did enjoy herself when she come in and sat down with, sat in with Stephen. I really kind of forgot, I really kind of forget, forgot to make a point about this. Uh, <laughs> you know, about the, about the girls getting the men to buy the shots. Uh, she told me, she, she said, I was running over fences and she told me, you know, the owner, the managers was telling them to do that, you know. Try to get them to, try to buy as many drinks as you can. She told me a bunch of stuff. Well, I sat down there and talked to her a long time. And she'd leave and come back a few minutes. She'd have to go somewhere, over to somewhere else. But she'd come back and sit down and talk to me. And uh, I tell you what. She, uh... I was sitting there, yeah, I am talking about two different places. Oh, uh, yeah, I am. I think I understand now. I am talking about two different places. But I was, oh. Uh, let me remember what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, yeah. The girl come over there. I'm talking about, like, you know, one of them beautiful girls, you know. She come over there and said, me and the girls is fitting to go somewhere, you know, to some other place, you know, like a, a normal place, you know. And she said, they, they, <clears throat> they all want you to come. And uh, I didn't go, y'all. I, I went on back home. I mean, not, not home. I was staying at a camp house. And every time, that was when every time he moved a moving truck on me. God dang, he knocked a big old hey, fish out the Hey, Stephen, I seen a big one out here jump this morning. I mean, it was a big one. Yes, sir. Yeah, that one, well, yeah, well, both of them was. But, like, during that one time I went, I went and sat way in the back, you know, and I was trying to, it was, I was trying to get out and do something, and I just didn't know what to do. I mean, I know y'all have been lost before. 
And I just didn't know what to do, and that's that's why I was there. But I wasn't there for more, what you might think. I was just trying to figure out something I could do to get out of the house. That, like I say, that's when Timmy got the moving van on me. And uh, <laughs> I seen him come here. <laughs> got my trim done. Hey y'all, I, I had, I had a, I owned a camp house. We called it a camp house, but it was a house. And I left from the place and went on back down there to my house. I, you know, it's like, uh, I couldn't mess up with Tammy, you know. <laughs> like I was talking about, don't make me big. No, I told her I wasn't gonna big. And then she turned around and walked off. I grabbed her by the leg, talking about, please, Tammy. No, Connie, this, no, these, these girls work there. They, I see that. These girls work there, and it was that job, their job to try to make the men spend money. That's, I mean, she would, she would say, you know, one, one girl would walk over there and, like, try to set you up, you know. One would walk over there and try to set you up and say, you ain't gonna buy her a drink, try to put you on the spot. But like, like the time I'm talking about with the woman sitting there, uh, they wasn't nothing happening right there, you know. Uh, I, the other time, I was just with somebody else. And that ain't my thing, y'all. That ain't my thing. Ran a long time ago, a long time ago. But I've never been, I've never been no ladies' man. I've, I never, I, that just ain't me, y'all. And really, y'all, I'm here to like, uh, I'm here to try to enhance Stephen while he's, uh, you know, doing these videos. I, that's what I'm here, you know. I need one because I can't lay them all out. Miss Ordinary Girl, that's that's what I'm here for. I'm gonna pick this camera up there where y'all can see Steven. I'm, I'm gonna get you to adjust a I'm gonna get you to adjust it where they can see what you're doing. Uh, yeah, that's it right there. Spread the legs out. All right. Can y'all see now? What I'm doing is I'm taking these stones and I'm putting it at the top of my window. <coughs> that 
woman that was sitting there with me talking to me, we talked a long time, you know, a long time. You know, these are like real pretty girls, you know. This what no scanty place. She told me she she told me that she said you wouldn't even recognize me if I was walking down the street. And I you know, I didn't understand, but I tell you what she told me. She said, you know how women take them glamour pictures? I said, yeah. She said, that's the way we, we dress. That's the way we dressed up. Like for glam glamour. And they all, you know, I was talking about the drinking. Uh, she told me this right here, you know, that they have to have a driver to pick them up. Yeah, they can't, they can't just drive themselves after working, you know, because of what I told y'all earlier. So, and I've I've seen it later, you know, that like you know they new ones coming in there and leaving all the time, you know, and uh. And, and they they had drivers. They they somebody had to pick them up. So that was pretty good. Okay, Miss Jeannie. Oh, being as y'all can see that, I might as well just leave it right there. Yeah, there you go. The wind died down a little bit too. It did. All right, I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna take my, my, cedar siding, all right. Hey, Debbie, I, I think you're talking about where did Stephen get uh, his looks? He he looks like his mama. He talks like me. He's got muscles like what I have, but I believe he's, his muscles is bigger. Hey, <laughs> I believe nothing. His muscles is bigger than mine was. But like I, you know, I, I, had, I had good arms, but Steven's arms is real big. You can't hardly put both of your hands around his muscle. I think that's what I like right there. Hey, where is Brad? Oh, he's over there eating at the wall. Eating grass. Steven don't leave him out all the time, y'all. He only leaves him like when he's here, keeping an eye on him. By myself. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I know y'all don't agree, but I'm telling you, I, I got bird houses at my house, out there at my little workshop, and the birds, they will use the same bird house. I mean, I know that for a fact. And I also heard Grandma say it too, you know. She said they'll put the nest on top of the nest. <laughs> I seen uh well me, me and Steven sitting in the camper this morning and I could hear Chester making a no uh, noise and I asked uh Steven what was Chester doing? What was he doing, Steven? Yeah, tell me again. That ball out there on a chain. Well he was 
He kept kicking it with his feet. He was kicking it with his back feet? Or? Yeah. Hey, I, I know a lot of, I do have, I do know a lot about grandma and growing up and things, but I, I don't mind telling y'all a little bit of stuff, but I really think I like need to, uh, instead of doing it with Steven on his channel, kind of do it with hers on her channel, you know. Yeah. Hey, the biggest fish we ever caught. What was that fish, Stephen? We caught? Uh, flathead. What was the uh, weight? Eight? 52 pounds. 52 pounds. We caught a 52 pound catfish. And we've caught a bunch of them, you know, like close to that, but that's the biggest one. Hey, Miss Benita. Hey, Miss Benita, how you doing? <laughs> Everybody wants to tell Stephen, hey, don't use that one. Yeah, yeah, Stephen's using an iPhone. We can't figure out what that what that is. I've I've tried real hard to find out what that is tonight. And, <laughs> you know, we was, Grandma got an iPhone, but I don't think hers does that. <laughs> hey, yeah. We get all kind of birds at my house and at Stevens. That was 50 or 60 out here a minute ago. Shoot, that, boy, that was more than 50 or 60. I know where you want to see it's going now. Like they coming in and growing, ain't they? You better believe it. We come by here yesterday and they was, they was at least 100 birds on the feeder, on the dock, on this table, the picnic table, the chairs, it was full. I want to use a little bit of glue, but not enough you can hardly see it. I've got some, I've got a guide that works for me. He makes coffee. He works on my, he makes my eBay products. He uh, does everything I need him to do. He, it don't matter what it is, he does everything that I need. Uh, Tammy loves him to do. You know, I tell you what now, he, he, uh, he wanted me to fix it where he could make more income. And I said, well, you can cut the grass if you want to, so. And I'm paying him, you know. He, he, I know how to work on that 
small engines and all that stuff. And uh, we fixed the lawnmower, and so he started cutting grass, and, and that ain't really what I mean telling you. When me and Tammy went home yesterday, she said, I sure do wish, John, I, well, she said something about John cutting the grass, you know, because it was high all, all over the place. And uh, we, we went down to Grandma's for her party, and when we come back, the grass was cut. He's, he's got a key to the house. He, uh, he, I don't boss him much. He knows what to do. And I, and I told him, you know, don't, don't come ask me. I said, you, you know what needs to be made and you do it. You know what I mean? You don't have to hold his hand. You don't have to hold his hand. There you go. Thanks, Steve. So he comes and does whatever we need doing. See, when that ain't near as thick a one as that, what that is down there. Oh, it ain't it. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I got my glasses on. I can see. I got a bunch of trim, and I got it. You know, I was telling Stephen to turn on the Don't Disturb. But, uh, I, did you do it today, Stephen? Uh, He's forgot the last two times. We done it one time, and they was, it was, I think it was still doing it. Yeah, he's, yeah, you know, for, at first he was the worst. Now he's like a real good friend. And he also asked me like what I think about things and stuff. We went and he bought him a motorcycle. Not that he's as young, not that he's that young because he's a how old John Steve? Three or 24. Nah, he's a lot older than that, so ain't he about 30? I don't think so. Well, anyway, he bought him a motorcycle, and we went out there and ordered parts on eBay, and I, you know, I went out there with him, and, like, we got it running, and he drove that thing all over. He gave $250 for it, but... But it was like most people wouldn't buy that thing because it was in such bad shape. But I do know a little bit about the motorcycle stuff too, and we got it running, got it fixed up. Hey y'all, Steven's just messing around. He's just messing around. Hey uh, he I mean he he thought this up this morning. Cause I, I I don't think he was planning on doing a video today. But uh He brought me some breakfast down to the camper, and uh, anyway, I I don't even know, y'all. I don't. I really don't even know if he just decided to do it or was gonna do it the whole time or what. He don't. Stephen don't tell you a whole lot.
Saving that show is pretty. You hear me, son? Yes, sir. That show is pretty. Thanks. Just an ordinary girl. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. Stephen brought me some breakfast this morning. He always does, you know. I gave Stephen his super chat this morning. Pull that up and put some down, let it get hard, and then put it back down again and build it up some. Yeah. yeah. It only matters on video. The, the birds won't care. <laughs> I asked Grandma yesterday, I, I asked her when the birds was gonna start making their nests. She said, right now. And I told Stephen, I said, boy, you got to get that, that glass top bird house up, you know. Cause like I want to see that. Stephen done something like this at school one time. I mean, kind of something like this. And that, you know, I mean, he well, I bet, I bet he does remember because he's got a good memory. But he he told me that that teacher told him that she could not believe how smart he was. You remember that, Stephen? Mm-hmm. I do, Zorka. Yeah, thank you, Miss Chung. Sometimes the, the super chats slip under the radar. But I, I seen you yesterday, Miss Chung. Uh, well, I seen it last night. And I know you've, I know you've done a lot. I do know you've done a lot. But, it's, but it is appreciated, though. <clears throat> and I don't know if I told y'all I thought about telling you. You know how that is. We called Grandma this morning, but she didn't answer the phone. Well, see, I, you know, what I'm talking about is I wasn't always behind the camera yesterday. I really wanted to, like, let everybody have a little shot. Because I know y'all like to hear from everybody, you know. So I was kind of letting everybody get their little, get them little piece in there of y'all, you know. I ain't too greedy, y'all. I'm only here to help Steven. Cindy Lou, I, I think I went and looked at your channel.
Hey, I don't, I don't know about that, Miss Murray. Or, I do know that, like, that right there costs a pretty good bit of ship. Oh. Uh, the stuff I ship is never under $25. Never. I mean, it can be going to Georgia and still be $25. And boy, that, uh, that California and Arizona and Wyoming and, uh, there's a few places like that. I don't know. I don't know what the problem is. But it's, the shipping's high. And I've got my stuff on there for free shipping. And when I first started, I didn't realize that there was other places like Alaska that is the United States too. <laughs> and uh, let's see, there's, there's some more, uh, might be the Virgin Islands. I'm, I, I'm, I don't remember, but, uh, but I, Somebody bought one from Australia. And it was gonna be it was gonna cost me $180 for the shipping. And I messaged the man and told him I was gonna and I wasn't crying on the shoulder, but I messaged the man and told him that that I was gonna that it, that it was real high, but I was gonna send it. And uh, he messaged me back and told me he didn't want me to lose no money on, on him. Yeah. But that's that's pretty good, you know. Talking about of it. Y'all want me to tell y'all some stuff about eBay like that you don't know? I know all the secrets. Twenty years. <laughs> hey, a lot of the women, a lot of the women have like me, you know. But I'm, I ain't, I ain't like that. I, that just ain't in me, you know. But uh, about the eBay thing. Oh. Uh, you, you can, you know, I don't do this, but you can go to Goodwill and you can pick up stuff from Goodwill and and you can go to yard sales and you can pick up stuff that you can make money on. And and you can, you can whatever that item is, you can. Search on eBay right there at the yard sale, or whatever you at, and you can see what that item is selling for. You know, and you you want your stuff free shipping. And I'll tell y'all something real important about the about the returns. You know, hey, every once in a while you might have a return, but you you want the stuff and people. Let me let me back up. People that sell on eBay that says they don't accept returns, they don't they don't hardly sell nothing. They don't realize what they say. Yeah, they don't. Yeah. They don't 
Well, you know, if you buy something, you want to be able to take it back. But anyway, hey, you you might get burned every now and then, but uh, but it's all in a day's work. Overall, overall, most people is honest. Yeah, genuine person. If they owe you money, boy, it, they can't sleep until you pay you. Oh yeah. Tell them about when you roofed and didn't get your money. Well, there weren't many times I didn't get my money. But I have been beat. Well, I'm talking about when you go home. What you talking about, Steve? I'm talking about when you go home and the and they call you to get paid. Oh yeah. Yeah, that well I actually got that figured out, but uh people's real bad about seeing you about to get through and they'll get in their car and drive off and leave. And you hot and tired and and uh I had enough money on hand I could pay my payroll and and do the next job and everything, you know, later in years. But like when I first started, I needed that money. And they would, man, sometimes it would be a few days before I would get it. But they would look that roof over and make sure that everything was perfect. Yeah, yeah, they don't want to look at it with you standing there. They want to look at it, you know, by themselves. I told one man one time, and I knew he was honest. But he was giving me a hard time. That's up a little bit there, Stephen. He, he was sort of giving me a hard time. He was a good fella, but he, he doubted what I was doing. And, uh... I said, I tell you what, I tell you what, <laughs> I said, I said, when, I said, whenever you convince this chimney ain't leaking no more, you mail the money to me. That joker waited three or four months before he mailed me the money. Take a beating on something on eBay. That don't mean you go berserk and saying I ain't taking no more returns. Hey, I don't know how much I sold, but I mean, I think it was fifty or sixty thousand dollars worth last year. I'm, I mean, I'm just guessing, but I know, it, I know it was a lot. It may, it might even be more than that. I'll tell you something that'll surprise you. And, I, and this is about all I'm going to say. 
you can buy something from eBay, from anybody. You let's just say, you, let's just say you're gonna have some youngins over that weekend. You buy it. I'm gonna say it again just because of the soft. Let's just say you buy an Xbox and you keep it a month. And then you, uh, you know, they, they put in for a return. Well, I mean, they can put a bag of rocks in the box and send it back. And eBay will side with the customer. You know, you can, hey, you can get on there and say, hey, they sent me a bag of rocks. eBay don't care about the silver. So, it's your word against theirs. And, and I already knew that before I started. But that's how, that's how that is. Somebody had something about, somebody had something about six months, bought something for me about six months. And they was wanting to return it. And, you know, they ain't, eBay ain't talking to you, but they send you messages about, like, give them, you know, give them their money back, stuff like that. Like, if eBay wants to give him his money back after six months, they can have that. But I ain't giving nobody something their money back after six months. Hey, you know what? You, they like telling you they want they want you to take a beating, and I ain't. I mean, I don't mind doing what's right, but I ain't gonna I ain't gonna give nobody their money back at six months. Oh yeah, they can see. You see right here, Stephen, my laptop? Oh yeah. You know, uh, see, I already knew about it because I studied it. I study hard, y'all. And and here's a little trick, you know, that the people that know how to jip you, they'll tell a new eBay. Oh, uh, send. You know, I wanna. I want you to send it to this address here. Well, see, as long as you send it to the address that they got on file, eBay's got on file, you covered. But if you change that address, <laughs> they can say, they can say I didn't get it. There's the front. I'm gonna, rock up there in the, I'm gonna turn the camera. I'm gonna rotate the camera a little bit. All right, go ahead. And it ain't in the sun. I think you see it pretty good, Stephen. Okay. Uh, looks pretty good on the computer. This is the front of it. I got the lap siding on it. I got my I got my trim on it. I got my window cased out. I got my little rocks up in the gable. Now I'm gonna turn around and do the siding on the back. Was well, you gonna put bird holes in the ends? 
Yeah, I, yes, sir. I, I ain't done with it. Is that okay? I mean, it ain't like. Look. Oh, look like it. Let, let me get the picture right here, but I think it's like pointed way down. Let me let me just look here a second. Yeah, that's good. It's right in the center of the picture. Hey, it don't look like it. It don't look like it's aimed good, but it is. It looks like it'll give you a headache. I just didn't want it to be upside down. And I mean, there is a whole bunch of people saying stuff just exactly like that. Stephen, when you was doing a Facebook Live the other day, you know, everybody was telling you to sing this and sing that, and he was trying to do it, y'all. But he sung Blues Man, and the comment stopped. Did you realize that, Stephen? Yeah. I don't understand why they did but i seen they it. was listening son oh they was listening oh uh, now when you've got to singing that song they went right back to chatting yeah getting you to sing oh uh, sing this and sing that but i did notice that but you know i look at stuff like that you know can you do a little, can you do a little rip He's just a singer, a natural born guitar ringer, kind of a clinger. The sad old songs, he's not a walk behind her, he's a new note finder, his name's a reminder. Of a blues man that's already gone. Man, that's great. Thank you, Roy. You know, I like the song at the end. Yeah. Where the woman stuck around for the old blues band? Yes, sir. I think Alan Jackson sung that at George Jones' funeral. I do believe that. Yes, sir. Kill song I've done. That was a tough one. <laughs> yeah, I know it. That joker. That joker gets your heart strings. Bradley's over there eating around that uh that planter Stephen made the other day, that big one. Yeah, you ain't never heard him do that Willie Nelson. <laughs> Two voices. That's funny.
<laughs> Me and Shirley. Our kids are. Y'all see my laptop there? You get the trim work on, but it goes pretty quick after that. Steven, is your four wheeler still up there in the field? Yeah. <laughs> drove it up right to the camper yesterday to get something out of it and I run out of gas coming back and like it it's like that song in a hurry to get things done Stephen Miss Shirley Nash I don't know enough about it to be talking about it but Miss Nash wants you to let everybody know about the silent oh uh, the silent option is that is that right silent the silent bid for Bentley's painted birdhouse yeah little man painting the birdhouse and we do a silent auction on it we got five bids on it so far and what we're gonna do is the highest bidder is gonna win it <laughs> There's a husband and wife. There's a husband and wife both bidded and both bidded different <laughs> amounts. And the wife told me, she said, my husband, she said, I don't know what he bidded, but I'm sure he outbid me. He always does. One lady, one lady messaged me and said, uh, if you don't mind, what's the bids already? <laughs> I said, I can't tell you that. It's like a silent auction. Made me feel bad for telling her nothing. She didn't make me feel bad. It's just me having to tell her nothing. I see. All right, I got the trim on. Came and get our stuff out the grocery store.
Yeah, that he was just standing here just a minute ago. C D J J. Hey, little Danny. Right, how's it going? Hey, we in. We had a good time at that party. That was, man, that was just right, you know. Stephen got out there and ate some hamburgers. You know, I was filming a lot. I didn't ever eat till I got back to camp. But boy, that day was good now. They, them salt guns are good now. Them hamburgers are good. I think Stephen can outcook Tammy. Grandma, uh, Mama cooked a lot of years. But I don't think she put the spices in there, you know, like you do. Oh, well then, that's, I definitely know that. And I told, I've told her before to look at how you was, how, how fast you was frying them. And I told her, it don't do much good to tell her, but I told her, I said, I don't want my hamburger to look like a tennis ball. I like my hamburger to be flat like they are at McDonald's. And she'll straighten up for one time, and then she'll be back, back, back making round hamburgers again, yeah. like a tennis ball. I can't hardly do nothing with her, y'all. <laughs> Man, I, th I just thought of something to tell y'all. Hey, it's pretty funny, too. Me and Tam is coming back from Grandma's yesterday, and she got a cramp in her pinky toe. And she was driving. <laughs> and I didn't know it was that serious. But man, she pulled over and she was going, ah, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, and all that, you know, hollering. I said, I said, throw your leg over him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we got that. Got a cup holder and all that stuff, like in between them seats. I said, throw your leg over here, and I took a boot off. And, and I was trying to, you know, uh, rub her foot and stretch her toes and all that. And I just knew about couldn't hardly stretch them the right way and massage them the right way to make her happy. She said, you're going to have to drive. And y'all, she's going to hear me talking so much, I can't hardly use psychology on her no more. I said, Tammy, you can drive a lot better than me. Oh, no, buddy. You ain't pulling that on me no more. I've got, you know, I, a lot of times people that don't work will tend to stay up late, you know. I mean, I, I, I don't know how it turns into that, but sometimes every once in a while I just have to get straightened out. But I've had to run in there a bunch of times and massage your leg 
She be in there just a hollering in the bed. You know, I'm I'm sitting there listening to the tone of her voice like the way a woman does a dear youngin, you know. That woman, I don't care what she's doing or who she's talking to or who's talking, she can uh, she can hear her youngin. Oh uh, and like I'm I'm sitting there and I'm listening to the tone of her voice. Whether I get in a real big hurry or not, you know. <laughs> it always turns into an emergency, seems like. I think she likes me to just go in there and do her leg, you know. Sometimes I think that. Y'all do know like us men, like act like we don't know how to do something, don't you? We will act like we don't know how to do something. Steven tried that the other day. She said, I think you're capable of taking the trash off. Steven, you amazing. <laughs> hey, hey, Rona, I I done that, but like I. I forgot what she said, but she can't eat salt. Man, you ought to see me trying to salt peas and butter beans and stuff. Cause she don't, I think she might put just a little bit in there, but like I'd be just a shaking that salt shaker, trying to get some salt on there. And taste of them like, like gotta add more. She talked to Grandma three hours this morning. Yeah, Bill. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if we got the uh, dill pickle juice, but like Stephen used to get them cramps too. I keep a big bottle of pickles. Do, for that reason. And I'll go in there and turn that jug up and drink eight or ten swallows. Steve, won't you tell them about the time that you had the, what you, what you call it, a crank in your neck or a crick in your neck? <laughs> I had a, like Daddy said, a crank in my neck. And, you know, them things are rough. <laughs> you ain't lying. Like, I done had that crank in my neck going on about three days. And I mean, I was tired of it. Like, every time I made a move, it just, it got old. And you and got mad. <laughs> Yeah.
Yep, it had done got me aggravated. I think I was at y'all's house. I think I was at your house, Hodge. You was, I seen you. I done had all the dealings with that neck I wanted. <laughs> I slapped, I slapped the back of my, the, I slapped my neck just as hard as I could slap it, about four slaps in a row. And Daddy trying to figure out what I was doing. Mm, stuck that, mm. That was hot. I slapped it just as hard as I could slap. And then I'm talking about, that was it. That was the end of the crank in my neck. It fixed it. I can't make that up. I like to put rocks here in the gable end. Dress it up. Give yeah, it that looks good there, boy. I tell you what I bought for Timmy last Christmas. I, I seen a comment about the boots. I decided I was gonna get him some boots. You know, them things is high, you know. Cause one of one of the kind was them leather moccasins. And I uh went gonna buy some boots and they had this these lead these leather moccasins and then they had these other kind of leather and I couldn't make up my mind which one to buy so I just bought them both. front right there flip it over to the back here's the back got the rocks and the lap siding now I need to turn it up on its side got to do the end can y'all see that I think so I can't remember where we was one time. They uh, was warning Stephen, you know, uh, he was asking about something other, you know. He, he wasn't asking the price, he was like talking about bring me this, you know what I mean? And. I can tell you exactly what it was. Well, hold on, I ain't even told him what it is yet. I remember. Uh, unless you're going to finish telling him. You Oh. Uh, let me get back on track. He was telling them to bring it. And they warned him about the price. He said, well, then this bring four. And I don't remember where we was, but... uh. I've done that more and more. Pulled up at Popeye's to buy biscuits, and that woman said, "You know they eighty nine cent a piece, don't you?" I said, "In that case, give me twenty four. <laughs> yeah. I was riding in, <clears throat> in my truck. And I ain't, it ain't the truck I got now, but it's old work truck, you know. What I work out of, and uh, well." Not what, not the truck I work out of, the, my truck that goes out on the road. And the law stopped me and grandma was in there. And it, hey boy, the law come up there. Boy, like, I'm gonna tell you, like, man, I started to tell him. I, I bet you ain't even heard about Steve. Man, he was mad, he was mad. He was talking about my windshield wipers. I mean, I don't know who he thought he was talking to. But he was judging me on my truck, see? Probably thought he was talking to his wife. I don't know, his wife probably might would have wrung his neck. 
But hey, 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 Grandma couldn't hardly believe it. Hey, he was giving, man, he was giving me a hard time. And it wasn't, you know, it wasn't nothing wrong. The truck, the, the truck, the windshield wipers was bad on it. But, but I mean, it, so I got two trucks. And we don't drive that truck at night. But I mean, I started to tell him, boy. Me and Tammy was going to a car auction one time. We went through this little old town. And the law stopped me and wanted me to take my money out of my pocket. And I had five or six thousand dollars in my pocket. But I was going to buy a car, you know. I mean, I was going to an auction. And I told him that. And boy, he, he kept me there a long time. Wrote me a ticket, took my money. Uh, he, 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 they took my money, and I got—I did get my money back, but it was about three months later. Stephen went. Steve, you know they's gonna put me in jail. Stephen, uh, went and brung me five that or how much was it, Stephen? Was it 10000 or 5000 you brought me? It was a lot. Stephen brought me the money. And then Monday morning, I had to go take the money back and give it to Stephen that he had done put up. And I asked that man when I went to that jail, was it against the law? They have some money in your pocket. You know, I mean, you know, they know what they was doing. They knew what they was doing. But it was a little hick town. I mean, probably, uh, we was out of town or see. Probably, I, I mean, maybe a thousand population or something like that, I reckon. Don't say the name of the town, Stephen, because I have to go through that sometimes. So, see, I spent $10,000 one weekend, see. They, they took my money, and then I had to give Stephen his money back, you know. They give it back to me, though. They said... We want you to plead guilty to something of them. And I I asked one of them, I said, is that, is that what it'll take to make y'all happy? <clears throat> so I I plead guilty. Paid about $300 fine. But I mean, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't going to get out of there, you know what I mean? That, you know, that was delivered. And you know, you ain't gonna go get no lawyer over some stupidness like that, you know. You would pay the lawyer more than, you would pay the lawyer more than what? $300 fine, I paid. The, the policeman, the, one of the policemen's in there, man, he was just a trying to tell the judge but that judge like that's when I knew right there uh when I seen the, when I seen the policeman trying to tell the judge that's when I knew I was in trouble because that judge he wasn't listening I, as a matter of fact he about got mad at the policeman for trying to tell him
Hey, y'all. Y'all know every trick in the book about them cramps, don't you? Boy, you ought to see what all they say in them here to do for cramps. Steven, you're going to have to watch the replay of this right here, man. Okay, I will. Yeah, I apologize, y'all. I can't watch them. I'm at an angle on the camera that ain't. Now, they know every trick in the book now. cramp so bad like my body shut down. Yes, Steve, when's your birthday? November the 17th. I love these rocks in the gable. It ain't cause I can't cut the gable out. Like it ain't a problem at all cutting that pitch. I like the rock look. Oh, I told Stephen. You know, I got a little bit of the YouTube experience. I told Stephen, like, to do what you feel, you know. Like, uh, do what you feel. Follow your, follow your instinct, what, what comes to mind. I got glue everywhere. I see that. I was looking at that. I don't even know if you can see it in the camera. But I know it's like sweeping a floor. You might can't see what's down there, but boy, it sure makes a difference when you sweep it. I don't want some little piece making it look off. Potassium, Steve. That's right. Hey y'all, we, we tried to we tried to get a hold of Grandma this morning, and then we called her right up until we went live. Yes, ma'am, Stephen is talented. See, he ain't never done a whole bunch of this right here, but he does stuff like this right here on his job. It's just big, you know, just big stuff. Now y'all, lay it on me now. Steven, slide a little closer. Well, I, I'll move the camera here. I'm gonna turn around. Lay it on me, y'all. What what we gonna name this thing now? Y'all give Steven some ideas. I can't remember what he said. Uh, did you say something about cabin or cottage or something, Stephen? This is going to be a lodge. A lodge? <laughs> well, I mean, same thing. Okay. Like if you rent a place in the mountains and you pull up to, this is like what you be pulling up to. A getaway cabin. and I like rocks and stones and I like to see it incorporated together. It's been two or three weeks ago, y'all, but like Stephen wanted to build a, a, a triple decker uh, bird, what? Bird bath, Stephen? Yeah. With a water fountain. Now, we, we know how to do it but uh, 
we don't, you know, we kind of got to do something that we can do live, you know. But they got them you can buy smaller because I got one that's smaller than that. I bought the big one because it you could do various sizes yeah. nails with it. I bet it ain't heavy to steal. He's so strong, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, they do. I feed them good too. They like the birds, eh? I feed them so much. So they won't even hardly bite nothing when you, like when people come fish for them. They're like, man, there ain't no fish in here. It, it's loaded. They just spoils. I'm gonna have to get Tammy to look at the live chat. Cause if what all they say and don't cure cramps, I don't think nothing will. Hey y'all don't don't forget to like the video. It don't cost you nothing to like the video. There's a bunch of people that ain't liking this video. And man, it don't cost nothing. Tip of that gun hot right there. <laughs> Is the tip of that gun hot? I mean like it's scalding. Scalding hot. Just takes a second to register. I don't know what's going on with my laptop, but like the battery's gonna be dead in a few minutes. It ain't ever doing that. I don't know. If I didn't have it plugged in good or what? You know what, uh, Steve, I, I seen that about liking all, oh, I see, I see. But anyway, Stephen has went to way out, you know, to try to have good content for y'all. video he's he's uh putting his time in here and he's doing this for y'all's entertainment and he ain't just doing it for y'all he he enjoys doing it but if it wasn't for y'all he wouldn't be out here doing this right now you ain't got no more out here i brought three no, I'm going to use that, man. Uh, Steven, you think you got somebody saying something on here about the Bluetooth? You got Bluetooth turned on your phone? Uh, probably. Ramona said that, she, that her phone does that when she's got the Bluetooth on. Okay, I'll check. Yeah, it's definitely on. Y'all know Stephen had to run back to the house. No, he hey, he runs up there, and then he runs back.
Hey, them hamburgers. You know how they got back to the camp? And Tammy had me a big old piece of cake. So I ate. I was hungry now. I was hungry when Stephen was cooking. But I was just kind of doing the camera, you know. But anyway, I ate them three hamburgers and the cake. And I always give the little dogs a bite. Thank you, Monique. All right, I'm back. This is endless what you can do, you know. Yeah. Oh, let's see what time it is. Hey, it's two or seven. Have you got to get Bentley today, Steve? No, not today. Okay. Two eleven. Who is Mama today? Grandma's making that video, Bentley. Made him a video for his channel. I seen it this morning. Then he sure did. He was videoing us looking at the camera. I had no clue. Definitely got to check the Bluetooth thing. I've been hearing that y'all about the guy crazy. Because then I hadn't found nothing on the, on the internet about it. I guarantee you that's what it's going to be because my Bluetooth's on. Yes, ma'am. We would be bored to death without Steven. You know, it it means a lot to him just to know that that y'all enjoying yourself. And it don't cost nothing to do a lot. Got the side done. Hey, man. That's awesome, Steven. <laughs> like the camera ain't doing it. That oh, angle. well, okay. Angle ain't doing it no justice. This is the back. Got my lap siding. Turn it out this way. Just stand up a second. Turn it out this way. This is Okay, my screen just went back on the laptop, Steve. All right, I got my lap siding. I got my rocks in the gable. This is the side of it. I got rocks on the side. This is my front. I got my lap siding and I got my rocks in the end again. I got this side done. I got to do this side right here. That's what I'm fitting to do now. All right. I'll... Okay, get this back adjusted, Steve. Thank you. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me get this right here. Yeah, y'all can see that. All right. What you ought to do is jog down there and get your cord. I got a plug in right here. Like I do like you used to tell me I time you. <laughs> hey, you be through before I get back. And I know you can't leave, you know.
I don't know if I made it clear, but my laptop, I didn't bring the charger, but I had never needed to. I don't know why it went dead today. But I see, I can't see the comments in this. For you to be able to see what Steven's doing, this has to be up on the table. It has to be like that, so. I think it's more important for y'all to see what he's doing than me looking at the comments. So we're gonna leave it like that. Steven's moving around doing something here. He ain't tell me what he's doing, but he's doing something. I'm gonna fix this right here. Hodge. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hello, everybody. How you doing? I'm in the last few little. All right. Hey, Brave is down there bumping up. Set it back down, Hodge. I'll get it set up. Okay. Uh huh. I can turn it around. I want you to be able to see what they're saying. Okay. I mean, I, I mean, I want them to see me, but I also. Yeah, it was, Cynthia. And you know, I mean, that ain't no little cheap birdhouse. I see there's a super chat there. I, Hey, y'all, I don't know where I'm coming or going, but uh, <laughs> I, I don't know if I read that or not, Steve. But anyway, uh, Stephen appreciates that. And I see the likes to you come up. Stephen, yesterday, I got you in there a little bit better, Steve. Yesterday when Grandma's video got through, I seen you say something about it, you know, how many views it had, you know? Yes. Oh, uh, okay, thank you. So, how many did it have at the end of the video? Like when I... When I ended the video, it had done had 1,650 views. Wow, boy. Hey, Stephen's gonna have to, he's gonna have to get up and go to catch up with Grandma, ain't he? Yeah, how many I got right now? Well, uh, well, there's a difference in right now and at the end of the video. Yeah. Because they, these people that'll come on and leave, you know what I mean? Everybody can't just sit here and watch, you know. But there's that many people come in and watch the while and left. Stephen has, Stephen has quite a few that, you know, that comes in and leave, but, but, uh, it seems like most people like to hang around and it seems like more people hang around and watch his video. And you know what, I'll tell y'all this. Uh, Steven, you know, I'm looking at his audience retention, you know, about on his videos. 
like I can look at, go look at the audit's retention and and tell if his video's good or above average or below average or whatever, you know. Everything he's doing is above average. You know, a good bit above average. So here's how that works. <clears throat> you know, there's millions and millions of videos on YouTube. So say his video's an hour long. They compare his video against other people's video that's an hour long. So he's way above average. He's, Stephen's going to get up there. I don't know if he's going to get up there with Grandma. But he's, he's going he's gonna to be a major YouTuber. I can't get this thing right. It's crooked. So Stephen's going to get up there, y'all. And I've looked, I've looked at a bunch of his videos, you know. What it is is you hit the play button, and there's a little line that goes up and down. And that line will start, which, yeah, I mean, I don't even have to watch the video because I've done that so much. But his line starts out big, you know, above average at the front, and it don't, very seldom does it go down to the little, uh, uh, to the average. Very seldom does it go a little below average. Mainly when I'm cutting with the saw. <laughs> yeah, I watched one. I watched one. I think I must have told you about it. Yeah, yeah, I did tell you, uh, Steven. Uh, he was, he had one spot that was a little below the average line, and he was cutting with this scroll saw, and you couldn't hardly hear us talking. Which I kind of thought that at the time, but, you know, it ain't my channel, you know. But anyway, he's doing good, he's... He's moving up in subscribers every day. Uh, and you also kind of at the mercy of YouTube. You know, they'll let you move up whenever they get ready for you to move up and not one minute before. You might think it's just happy-go-lucky and this will go viral or that will go viral. It don't go viral by itself. What needs security cameras? <laughs> and they just sound like hiking there. Put air conditioner in. Hey, I was watching y'all the other day. Boy, y'all saying all kinds of stuff. Who's that time I put an antenna on top of it? <laughs> hey, you know what? Pay pretty good for Stephen to do. Oh, stop, stop someone from stealing it. I'd love to see make Stephen make a. Uh, Man, that's, that's the dangest crookedest. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. A camera or something moves. I wish I, he'd make a fire tower. I, it just done that just then. I was going to wait to get back over there where I could get you in the picture. Now look at it. Since, since, uh, look at it now. It's okay. It's all right. I know you're joking. See, I can tell when y'all joking, but not everybody can tell when I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> now, I kind of wanted to get your pretty face in it there, Steve. Huh? <clears throat> hey, Brad, Bradley's got to stop eating that grass long enough to eat a piece of wood.
He heard his name. Oh, that was him come running up me. Stephen said he heard his name. I didn't know. I didn't know that like animals like that had sense like a dog like that. Like, like no, look at him. Talked him into it. See it, Hodge? Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see it good. I, Here's the side of it. I see you at about your mouth. That's the side. Yeah, that's the side. Yeah, that's the back. That's the back. I was, I was, see, at first I was trying to offset these houses a little bit, but I realized that when this side right here look a little better. Hey uh, y'all, I, I mean, I want to tell y'all now, rabbit don't just run out here like it may look like all the time. Stephen, on, Stephen only has Bradley out when he's out here. I was concerned about that too, but. But then I had to realize who I was talking to, and and he, uh, Stephen looks at him, and he's watching him. He might not, you might not think he's watching, but he's watching him. Right. Stephen keeps an eye on Bradley because he's, oh, there goes Bradley walking through, train wreck. Stephen keeps an eye on him because he's scared that he'll run off with the dogs, and he will. I think the dogs enjoy running off with him. Like, they want to take him off and go hunt a rabbit. Yeah. Thank you, Miss Bell. All right, I'll just... Grandma yesterday, she was... Go ahead, Stephen, if you got something to say. I don't have nothing to say. I just... <laughs> Grandma was kind of worried about, oh, uh, you know, filming too long yesterday, and I, I walked up there to the camera a couple of times, and every time I walked up, you know, I mean, it was more, it was more viewers than what it was the time before. All right, Bradley's got the cord here. And. Yeah, he's like a little wrestling team. And, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I don't tell Grandma and all Steve what to do. Sometimes I might give my opinion, but I said, they watching, you know? I said, you know, they watching? And Grandma hit a new world record. I got to turn it around. Huh? Okay. Here, Dees. Dees. I got to get it on this. Okay, Stephen. I I told them, man, uh, I think you got to tell them, and they worried about Hiker X. I can't say everybody, but uh, Hiker X is worried about Bradley eating the tree to lumber. So I think you need to say something here and... And what can you do about Bradley eating the tree to lumber? Well, I hadn't seen him eating on it. He stays out there on that grass. Now that he's come to love grass, that's about all he does. Yeah, I, I mean, I see him standing over there at that wall a lot. Stephen, uh, hey, that sawdust is what gets me, y'all. I really need to move to that side, Stephen. Okay. Y'all, what it is is the winds change. 
Look, yeah, the wind changed directions, and uh, he had a he had a furnace on the back side. Hold on, I can get your chair too. So we we moving camp here. And get my chair over here. I get the camera right in a second. Thank you, Stephen. Yeah. Well, Stephen is the man. I'm going to get this thing straightened out here. I don't know what we're going to do with about Grandma. She's a... <laughs> She's a camera mover. Well, y'all all, all it. I know you, you, you wouldn't know nothing to hurt it. God dang. Oh, Steve, I'm be having a fit about that camera. Oh, man, that is something else right there now. I, I ain't seen it tonight. Man, that's something else right there. You, you didn't know I was burning it? Well, I knew you was burning it, but I ain't made direct eye contact. I'm pretty much looking at this camera. Did he chew some up? Yes. Grandma ain't never had... Hey. She gonna get that camera. Like she walk over there and... Then she'll walk back. I sit there and look at Stephen. Stephen's got that look on his face. Sure does, Miss Shirley. You know, I, I like that burnt look better than any paint. I think I might like the burnt better than I do the stain. But she ain't never stained one, I don't think. You know what, I, 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 Casey, I see that. I told Grandma that now she really is a good cook. She really is. And I told her that I thought that she ought to make more uh, cooking videos. <clears throat> I don't know if there's anything she's ever cooked I didn't like. She would make them old coconut cakes every now and then. I wasn't too crazy about that. <laughs> you know, I was going to tell y'all. You know, Grandma was talking about the Williamson Bakery in Dublin. And she was talking about, you know, like a... Uh, how long they've been around. The, the Williamson Bakery guy come out to my house and sat down in one of my recliners and he bought what I sell on eBay. 
And he sat around there and talked to me a long time. And I, I, there's a lot of people do that. You would be surprised how many people come out there and sit around and I, they'll come to see me, you know, like they do grandma. And I, you know, I guess I'm getting off track. That Williamson Baker, boy, that is the best. Chocolate donut that I have ever ate. And I, when he was coming out to my house, I said, man, bring me a dozen of them donuts. Hey, my, my camper, my cord is down there in my camper. And, st and, and you know, y'all, Stephen can't leave. And I can't walk down there and be back. I, it, I, it take me a while to walk down there. But that, uh, that Williamson Baker, boy, it, it's good now. And he brought me a dozen, and I charged him for my product, but he would not let me pay him. And I, you know, you know how we are, you know. I, I wanted to pay him for them donuts, but he would not take the money. Now, where is where these gaps are in these rocks? Yeah. Come back and burn them with the torch. Hey, I, yeah, I think you like to have rocks falling off if you go to trying to burn that. Yeah, you know, I, you know, like about one comment will pop up right here. And I had to have my eyes set, and I had to be like, be able to read like Bentley. And it, I, but that laptop, I can go look back. I see a bunch of the comments. And that laptop, I can look back. You know, I mean, they all right there. You know, I don't even have to scroll. I can see them. surface area to burn, huh? Steven, you might better put that umbrella on the other side of this table. That wind, uh, is the wind bad, y'all? Yeah, I ain't seen nobody say nothing. Okay. Miss Sandra, I can count on you. Hiker, I can count on you too. Jane, Janie. I always want to call you Janie, Jane. Wind's okay. Rona says only sometimes. Okay, Valor. Super windy there. It it actually is here too. I mean it's it's fairly bad. Yeah, that's that static I was talking about this in there. We're gonna we're gonna try to check that. Somebody said that it that it might be the Bluetooth. Bradley, what are you doing? Is Bradley down there trying to drink cocoa? Boy, he... Sound is fine, my nick. Yes, ma'am, Miss Vanita. Says, Stephen, you're outdoing yourself. No, thank you. Wind not bad. Hey, y'all ought to go with Stephen bubbling sometime. <laughs> I've been I've been with him for y'all I've 
hung around Stephen a lot. He's, he's a lot of fun. They get out here and like see who can throw the ball the hardest. <laughs> <laughs> It sure is beautiful. It sure is. Liam, we had go up there to Six Flags. That's my billfold. What are you doing? Boy. We go up there to Six Flags over Georgia. Man, stay up there. It do look like a log cabin on Oh, I, you know what? I mean, y'all just right here might be the best yet. I know, it's coming from all kinds of directions, ain't it? It wouldn't matter if I wasn't using this torch. You know, when I first come down here, y'all, me and Steven, we'd take off. He was doing his videos early, and I finally got him to wait a little bit later, you know, for y'all to get up out of the bed. You know, when that thing, when I was asking him about, did he know what time it was in California? I know, he, I know he's got some people from California. And uh, we was, we would go eating. We would go eat dinner. And he's taking me all to all these places. He pull up at the Mexican restaurant. Boy, and I'm like looking at Tammy. Then he takes us, where's that other place, Stephen? What was it? Chinese buffet. Oh, I mean, I ain't never been to neither one of them places in my life. Boy, I'm turning around looking at Tammy. Tammy knows me. Tammy knows me like as good as you can possibly know somebody. And Tammy's looking at me to see if I'm going to go for it because I just love to not even go for it, you know. We went somewhere before and I told Tammy, I said, I ain't eating there now. Like they eat, they eat all that strange stuff. Like stuff, like what is that? Oh, we have, me and Tammy has got the car and rode somewhere else. Didn't even say nothing. Like you went missing. <laughs> hey, yeah. I'm pretty much a American eater, but <clears throat> I went in them two places, Stephen, like they had all that wild food in there. Hodges, in, hibachi, hibachi chicken ain't wild, that's, that's common. Well, that's what I fit to say, Stephen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Stephen said, trust me, and a lot of times I do let him order for me. Because he, he, they eat out every day, every night. They eat out every night. He says, trust me, Hodges. And he, he eats out so much, he does know what's good in everything, you know. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, I got to say, you know, the, the two things out which we went to buffets, one of them was a buffet, and it, and it was good. I actually wouldn't mind going back there, Stephen, to that hibachi. That green pepper steak is good. Yeah. They got green pepper steak, and they got mushroom and steak. Terry from California. She loves hibachi. I do. What is hibachi? What does that mean? I mean, it's just grilled chicken, but it's got the sauce on it. The hibachi, the sauce is what makes it hibachi. And they cook it on that grill. 
All right. I got the. I got that done. Cindy Lou, heavenly design. I got a feeling that's Ronnie cruising through him. Yeah. Now this right here is aqua, antique aqua. When I went to the craft store the other day, I got a big old Jug of Big old jug of what? This paint. Let me see that. What? Never mind. I guess I see it when you put it on there. Aqua. It is antique aqua. Yeah. Did Ronnie get all the stuff cleaned up there from the party? They had, went to a party Saturday night and then went to a party Sunday. He didn't even have to do it. So he so, got that carpet up? Oh, the carpet's not up, but the trash is, is up. Grandma said, boy, when you paint, you need a big old brush. Hey, uh, you know, I had to leave back to up Steve and y'all, uh, about that, you know. What's that? Uh, somebody wanted to have you in the background of one of their videos. No, I mean, Stephen's video ain't copyrighted. <clears throat> but, like, uh, just say you done that, somebody didn't want you to do that, you know, just say you use some of somebody's video. Uh, you might could get a strike for that. I, I don't know. Uh, but I know, I know YouTube don't like it. I do know that. Turn that around, Steve. I seen Reno on him a minute ago. I bet. Yeah, I mean, you know, if it was me, I wouldn't care. Here. And Stephen probably don't care, but he don't exactly understand what it is that you're talking about. He's, he's pretty easy going. Yeah, it sure does. Sure does, Rena. He, uh, I don't even think he was planning on going live today. I, I, I mean, I don't know. I ain't asked him. Turn it on around a little bit more, Steve, where I can have a good, kind of good flat. There you go. Yeah, that's a pretty good looking color. You know, Which? Go ahead, Steve, you, you go first and then I go second. Well, I mean, if you can like, kind of design your dream home. 
you know, what would it look like? This is, if I could design my own getaway home, this is what I would have in mind. Big open floor kitchen, because cooking's important, family's important. You want your big kitchen in with your living room where open, I don't like 10 by 12 rooms. I like big open rooms. Yeah, for your kitchen and, and living room. You don't mean the bedrooms. Well, I'm, t I'm just saying I don't like, I like open floor plans. And this right here would have the high cathedral ceiling and the big open floor plan and like it's perfect. Yeah. You can have your upstairs bed area like overlooking with big windows. Hey, uh, y'all ladies out there, y'all, y'all pretty much know what Stevens made. What was, I wonder what's y'all's favorite out of everything. I'll try to look and see if I can tell. Yeah, Best house so far right here, Stephen. That's one of them. But y'all know what all he's done. Let me show y'all something. Look right here. I know the camera's a little sideways and all that. Look right here. He don't get out from under me. Hey, if he leaves, he pretty well goes over there at the wall and eats grass on him. He does. Hey, Chester's just sitting here chewing, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> He's just standing there chewing. Call him Chester. Oh, I called him the wrong name again? Yeah. Pretty common, ain't it? I get all them names mixed up. Bentley, Bradley, and Chester. Okay, she in the blue lights to the big yellow birdhouse, the condo, yeah. the Hodge Lodge. Churches he made. I like the churches too now. I like the churches too. A lot of times I don't I don't say nothing but because y'all are more important than you know what I think. But I like to see him burn one of them churches or and then do a brown roof. But I I like the way he he, I only seen him do one, but he took rusty, he he took paint and made the roof look like a rusty uh, tin roof. I, I really like that, but I like a a brown, uh, burnt like that right there, and the fascia board, and then like a kind of a dark brown roof. I like stuff to match. I kind of know about that kind of thing from roofing. Hey, if you asked a man what color shingles he wants, he'll ask you, you know, whatever everybody else did. But if you asked a woman, you done made a mistake. She'll stand you, she'll have you, oh, well, not of them, but a lot of them have you stand there a long time showing the chalk. You know, they give you them little samples and you have to pick out a color from that.
Church is my favorite, but they all beautiful. Now, Steve is listening now. <laughs> Stephen, you forgot. Oh, I just seen on the comment. You forgot to burn up under that uh, roof right there. Hey, somebody spotted it. <laughs> I didn't catch who said it. Yeah. Oh, boy. I, I mean, I, I mean, he can do it. You know, I mean, might need some time to think about it. Oh, barnyard with a rusty metal roof, Stephen. Yes. Sir. Yeah, that. You know, I mean, he's seen that. You know that. That rusty metal roof. You know, I mean, he act like that wasn't nothing, but I mean, I thought it was a pretty big deal. Like how real it looked. But he liked it and hardly even act like he thought nothing about it. <laughs> He's actually got some more stuff for y'all. Make a church with a stick. I think he can do that. Sweet earth. Sweet earth on my Facebook. Yes. I am. I am Danny S. Hodges on Facebook. You see me holding them drumsticks. And Stephen is Stephen Hodges on Facebook. And. He's planning on doing a concert every Friday. That don't mean he'll always be able to do it. He he tries to sing he tries to sing what everybody likes and he he does a little country and he does a little rock and and he does a little gospel. He tries to do everything everybody has. I used to go around with him to them, to, to sing karaoke, you know, he was single there a while. And I was kind of hanging around there doing just like what I'm doing now. You know, like, uh, <clears throat> you know, he needed a buddy, you know. He, he was down and out. And we'd go around there and he'd get up there and sing. And I used to love to hear him sing. Boy, he, let's see, uh, like that, <clears throat> I don't remember who his girl, he had one girlfriend there for a little while, and she, boy, she didn't want him standing up there singing now, and <laughs> she, hey, look at him now. She didn't want him getting up there singing. You know, I mean, she start out okay, but like he's getting such a, such a, what, Stephen? Uh, like everybody wanted to get up there and dance while I was singing. Yeah, I mean, he was getting such a response. She couldn't stand it no more. <laughs> Yeah, he, he, uh, yeah, he gets up there, and I'm gonna move in a little closer on this. You know, everybody wants him to sing their song, and oh, I was there, I didn't even tell you all of it. She was jealous. <coughs> she got up there <coughs> with him with a mini skirt on and like, man, he had to get her and go sit down. Do y'all know what I mean? 
yeah, she done, she done let her skirt ride up till her whole thong was hang, was showing. You remember that, Stephen? I guess you I do, don't, don't you? I remember. Hey, yeah. I, you know, I kind of yeah. got a good memory, too. Hey, she, she won, because I quit singing. Oh, he had to go sit down, y'all. He had to go sit down. But boy, we, man, we, we've been in the savannah and like you name it. See the rock? Yeah, I was watching you, son. That's, you were doing a wonderful job. We go down there, savannah and stuff, and on River Street and all that, stay down there, you know, on that River Street. And, you know, it, it was the same. It was the same way. It was the same. He got the same response there as he did here in Dublin. And we went to Savannah, and I did a karaoke. No, it was a lip sync battle. And like, see, I was wanting to sing, like I could really sing the songs. <laughs> But it was a lip sync battle, so like you just had to lip it. Well, I won the lip sync battle. They gave me about a hundred dollar bottle of liquor and I told them that I didn't drink. That man said, well, give it to somebody else. But I did, uh, Peppers, uh, artist. I met a payphone. And it was a, started out with about 12 people and you had to do three acts. And every time you did an act, you know, somebody got eliminated. And I wound up in the finals and I... I remember the second place girl, her daddy was the one hosting the show. So boy, you know she was good. If she's, you know, does them lip sync battles, she was real good. Yeah, Stephen ain't, he ain't never been shy, y'all. Oh, uh, uh, you know, a lot of times, you know, I've filmed a lot, you know. And a lot of times it's just better to let somebody film you than to turn your back and make a face and all that. But anyway, Stephen, he, he ain't, he ain't never been camera shy. And Christina used to didn't be, I don't, hey, she. That Christine, I, I don't know if, you know, there's a lot happening there at Grandma. She's won so many beauty contests. Uh, you know, she was doing it when she was little. And she got, uh, y'all, this is really, really kind of interesting. When she got older, she was still winning, you know. First or second place or something like that, you know. But she got to realizing like them little girls was getting upset. And and uh, when I realized that, you know, I mean, Tammy's like, cool. yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, you know. Tammy, let's go, yeah, yeah, boy, let's go, let's go win another, let's go win another. But I realized that Christina felt bad for the little girls that was what you call losing. And, and I reckon it was a combination of her winning so many and uh, and the little girls, you know, that was upset that didn't win. I, I know she had trophies in her room. 
like a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of trophies. And she, they took them and gathered them up and put them out there in the, in the building. And like they still out there in that building, I mean. Can you see the rocks? Yeah. I'll put different color rocks on the bottom. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she was. I mean, she was. She was born like that, you know. I mean, she was a beautiful. She was a beautiful baby. Well, she's a little ugly at first, but like she, <laughs> she grows in like real pretty, you know. Like from from the time she was little. She wasn't ugly. She was a little ugly at first when she was first born. She was bald, I think. <laughs> But I talked to Tim and told Tim to lay off, you know. I think Stephen going to have to buy some more rocks, y'all. Hey, y'all, y'all, y'all all the time messing with me about Tim to get mad. She liable to get mad if she heard that. Like that's her baby now. You know, you know, I used to do that mud bogging. You know, those of you seen that clip on Facebook where I was young. That was actually a mud bog, and I had one of them trucks, one of them mud bogging trucks. And Christina, whoa. <clears throat> that was Bradley, y'all. Huh. I mean, he's got the whole cord with him. Yeah, I know. Hey, he liked to jerk the uh, stand down here. But Christina would go to, sometimes we would just go play on Sunday, you know, a bunch. A bunch of trucks, something like what you would see on TV set. It was just a bunch of people that had them four-wheel drive trucks. And mm -hmm. Anyway, Christina would go out there, and she had this little gang of girls that hung around her, and they, and they would get in the mud. Let me, let me make sure y'all understand. She want, they wanted to get in the mud. And, well, some of the girls didn't want to. But Christine and most of them, they would get up, go out there and get in that mud like a hog. <laughs> you remember that, Stephen? Yeah, they would. The I'm talking about stick their head under that muddy water and all that and like be laughing about it. Now, I'll also tell you, like, uh, one more thing. Uh, you know, both of my youngest was good youngest. But, like, me being a man, you know, me, I didn't ever say too much to Christine. I would, I would let her mama handle her. Now, I've popped Stephen across the butt with my hand before, like one leg. And that's all it took, you know. But like the little girl, I didn't never, I didn't never, uh, I didn't never do nothing. But she was good now. But I didn't never, uh, I didn't never hardly mess with her. Well, heck, we never needed no wood. No, y'all didn't never need no wood. Except for when I shot that one night with the BB gun. But man, how little was I then? The, the man babysitting me had a BB gun in a gun Boy, you ain't got no weapon for that unless your mama whooped you. I ain't whooped you. Man, he, I ain't never whooped you in your life. Well, I, Besides smack you across the butt. I ain't talking about With my whooping. hand. 
I said if I ever needed one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got you. That man had a BB gun in a gun rack. And I got a chair and got it and got that BB gun and went outside. He had a nice Winnebago, a nice, like, super nice, especially then, back then. And I shot the window out of it. It had tinted windows in it. I shot it out with the BB gun. Hey, I, I, boy, that, them switches hurt, don't they? I don't know if them, I don't know if them old folks know how bad them switches hurt, but them things hurt now. Mama's made me go pick my own china berry limb. Yeah, that that team is a little rough now. I've I've had to go in there and get her before. Last time she was whooping me, <laughs> I turned back and looked at her. <laughs> this is true, y'all. I turned back while she was whooping me, and she was holding her shoulder while she was whooping me. And I said, Mama, quit. You're going to hurt yourself, boy. She caught another gear. Oh, he he deserved it, but like Grandma uh, Tammy is one of the kind she believes in whooping. I myself don't believe in weapons. But like she does. And I've had to go in there and get her before. I seen that com I seen that comment. I I did see that. Con is a troll. Ain't know it. Got a troll on there? Yeah, somebody said something about they come to your channel and I'm talking. You know, you know, like that's not no big thing to us, you know. <laughs> yeah. You ain't famous unless you got a troll so far. That's right. You ain't if if you ain't got a troll, you ain't doing it right. Hey, yeah, boy. Like, boy, that's... Boy. I, if I seen somebody whooping somebody with a switch to this day, like after I'd grown, I'd like to get out of the car and go break that thing. Even if I don't even know. The deal about my daddy commentating is, well, I love him. And as long as he's alive, he's welcome to commentate any, be any video I got. And if there's ever become a day I don't want my daddy to be a part of it, that's the day I quit. Hey, like, it is my channel, but my daddy's always welcome. Wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for him. That's right, Ronald. Respect. Hey, Stephen's gonna make it to the big times. I need a few more rocks. Hang on there. Stephen's gonna make it to the big times, no matter what. Stephen, he, he knows too much, you know.
And you know, I mean, when I go back home and that's gonna be real soon, y'all. But I'm gonna be helping him like on the computer part of everything. Helping him with his thumbnails and helping, helping him doing some of the stuff like computer wise. And he knows how to do it, y'all, because I taught him how to do everything. <clears throat> but he don't hardly have time, so I'm going to be helping him still and still doing the thumbnails for him. And Steve might want to turn that thing around this way a little bit. Yeah, I didn't think about it. First thing I need to do is burn this right here where it looks like dirt around it. Well, I can't see that with a big old arm. You know what, I don't, I don't think I gotta say nothing to this troll. They pretty well uh, laying it on right now. Go swimming for us over. Take a second and burn that in. Y'all tell me, Sandra, what a troll is. A troll's like a heckler. <laughs> Grandma said, if you don't like it, go watch some milk. <laughs> Y'all threw it down there. These dogs is wrestling. No, the dog and Brad is I'm, wrestling. Yeah, the dog and Brad, uh, they wrestling. Here, yeah, Grandma tickled me. I've even had to take a little bit of stuff she said out of videos before. She's getting on to somebody. I said, I said, let them go, you know. Bradley's just not cook off her feet. Hey, did y'all hear him clunking around here? All right, Hodge, I'm ready to show it. All right, Bubba, well, you can take this camera. All right, thank you, sweetheart. I'm going to clean off the end of it. I, I, you know, I do think a lot of that is jealousy. I've... I've seen stuff like, like that before, not even on YouTube. And, you know, a lot of times it would be somebody with a kind of sad life. And uh, I really ain't trying to be funny. I mean, that's, I kind of changed my mind I got a different opinion about trolls now because, boy, I mean, I used to would dog them out, you know, on another platform. But then, 
like I realized that they was kind of, they was kind of sad people to me. Uh, you know, I mean, their life wasn't very good. You know why they get along so good? Why is that? Bradley's thing? rough and coke up. <laughs> hey, look at this, y'all. Hey, now, Bradley's done. <laughs> Bradley done put too good a lick on the floor. Got the camera down. Hey, I'm going to turn this around, y'all. All right. Bradley's roughing her up, but see, Coca likes to be scratched. So, uh, Coca's okay. She'll take, she'll take it. All right, I'm going to turn this around here and show y'all. This is the front of it. There's one more step I want to do here before I... <clears throat> that looks like something you see on the shelf in a store, don't it, Steve? Watch how this livens it up. What is that, Steve? This is my clear protectant. Clear enamel? Yeah. Man, I love that right here. Boy, that'd be good with some little, little tree bushes right there. Uh, can you get, can you get stuff like that? You can. No. It, it looks good even on the back side, don't it? Side still gotta be pretty too. Alright. Thank you. We're gonna get you to hold it and do a thumbnail now because so I can Get a thumbnail from it. You need, right, you, need to, you need to stand in the sun. I wish all that junk wasn't over there. Okay, gotta get out more. I had to say cheese. <laughs> cheese. All right. Y'all, yeah, I'll go on with YouTube and get a thumbnail of that right there. All right, I'm going right, gonna... to turn this back over to Steven. I'll set this down, and we'll take a look at it. Get this off. All right, y'all. There you go. I got the rocks in the gables. I got the I got the facials burned. Got my house, my my window trimmed out. I got my lap siding on it. That's real pretty. I got my rocks around it. I got my rocks going up the sides of it. One thirty. <laughs> I hear you said I got to stick my tongue out when I do a thumbnail. All right, here's the rocks on the side. 
I got rocks on the bottom. Coming around to the back. I like the little stones and I got the back of the house done nice. I got rocks in the gable. Burnt the siding. Thank you so much, Miss Debbie Delino. Sweet earth. Wow. Love and life. But this is it, y'all. If I could build my own little cabin, this is what it looked like. Have me some stone work on it. Have me some pretty cedar, flat boards. The roof there. I still ain't sure about that aqua. It looks green on the video. It looks like a mossy green. It's pretty bad. Hey babies. Hey babies. One up, two down. Hit thumbs up. American made. Thank you. Well, that's her, y'all. That was... Well, take it back. That's all the rocks I got left. <laughs> I got to get me some more rocks. That's it right there. You can do a fake one out of popsicle sticks. Thank you, Texas gal. This is it, y'all. I ripped all this siding out today in my saw. Put a new blade in it. Bearded Granny loves it either way. Susan Wood, absolutely gorgeous. Well, thank y'all. Thank you, Miss Carol. This is it. Where is it going, Stephen? I don't know yet. Hadn't got that far. That color's beautiful. Thank you. That's antique aqua. I tell you, being in the shade, it don't help it. Where are you going to put it? I don't know. I am thinking about building a display uh, for some of my stuff. So, you know, some of my very, my prototypes. Deanne Hogg, totally love it. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bear Paul says, yay, Stephen. What I need is Bentley out here describing it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I believe he'd come and take the fire out of it. Oh, yeah, let me show you. Look at this, y'all. I mean, bone dry. Them birds come up here and clean house that thing held a lot of seeds too do you have any more seeds i got a bunch of seeds well i won't have a bunch of seeds at this rate but yeah i still got two bags oh i see the birds they sitting over there in them trees right there I know. I come out here this morning and there was a bird inside of it. There was a bird inside of it. Like he done went under it eating the seeds that's left in the middle. In the middle. And before I could get the camera on to show y'all, he come out of there. So, <laughs> that, 
this thing right here is a big hit but uh, i don't know if i can afford to feed them birds the way they they what i made that three days ago and they done emptied it let me get some <clears throat> get some more seeds. Okay. I will. This would be a lot better than holding that. Got it back full for now. All right, y'all. Here's the project. Hey and there's, there's Renee. Never been on here a long time if you home. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Yeah. Hope y'all have a good day. Yeah, I can't do the sun. That's rough. <laughs> Hope y'all have a good day. Thank you so much. Make a hole. Got a hole. Got a hole right here nice hole <laughs> y'all have a good day thank y'all for watching i had a beautiful day out here today it's been it's been real pretty been windy thank y'all and, and i'll see y'all in the next video <laughs> all right bye-bye